season? Yeah, I think it was a great bounce back game. Um, uh, the way we played, I thought it <clears throat> against uh, Toronto. Um, I thought the guys again executed the game plan, and um, I thought you know everybody participated. But you know, I thought Luca set the tone. Kai, those two uh, set the tone tonight, and the guys followed. Uh, well, I think it was more that we sent them to the free throw line. Um, they were in the bonus uh, with seven minutes or, or so, uh, and, that, and that's hard to do against a group like that. That's going to, you know, isolate you and drive the ball, and you got to not foul. And uh, and so, I thought once we got past the first quarter or the first half of that first quarter, I thought we were pretty good. Yeah, again, I, I thought uh, being prepared for, you know, the reds or, or the switches and then also just the double teams, I thought everybody was uh, alert um, and made plays. And, and uh, with all that being said, you got to make shots. And I thought everyone made shots. Uh, you know, even Luca was making a lot of shots there in that run. Yeah, that's the, where the league is today. There's a lot of scoring happening right now. Um, and we feel comfortable with that. And so um, I thought one of the guys who did a really good job for us, who had carryover um, from the Toronto game, was Exum. I thought uh, Dante did a really good job of pushing the, the, the pace and getting us out and getting us some easy looks. Um, but when you can score that many points in a, in a half, um, you, those guys are pros. The Clippers are a good team. It's just a matter of time when they, they click, and we, we just caught them early before they, they're ready to go. Yeah, he, he had a big underrated shot tonight. Um, when they were making their run, he made a big three for us, and no one's going to really talk about that. But um, there was talk maybe on the bench of bringing Kai back at this point. Um, with the tournament and the rules, um, we were already in the hole a little bit with the 11-point uh, loss to Denver. So we were trying to you know figure out uh, you know who can keep us above 20 um, to try to get out of that hole. And so... Um, I thought, uh, you know, Curry made a big shot for us that won't, no one's going to talk about, but that uh, stopped the run and also kept, kept us up there at the 20-point uh, margin. Curry, yesterday, last game, said that you called him soft. How do you think this team responded to that? Yeah, I thought they were great. Uh, sometimes you don't have to tell everybody what I said. Um, <laughs> but, no, he. Uh, I saw that. Um, he let everybody know. I thought... I thought everybody responded in a positive way. Um, it wasn't that um, I was making something up. I just, that's what I felt. Um, and I thought the guys responded. I thought we were physical. Uh, the Clippers are a big team. I thought Toronto was, you know, they were physical with us and we kind of backed down. So um, I thought the guys did a great job of responding uh, to that comment. You mentioned Dante's impact. What do you like particularly when he plays alongside Kyrie and Luke? Yeah, you know, one, they trust him um, with bringing the ball. His pace uh, is uh, something that we've been looking for, and he's done it with Kai and Luca both out there. Um, and then his, his able to play make, but also to get to the rim. Uh, he's doing a, um, a great job of that for us uh, with those two. A lot of times you can wait uh, for Kai or Luca, but he's putting uh, a lot of pressure, you know, on the defense. The ball is touching the paint, and then his ability to, you know, play make is at a high level. So that, it's been good for us. And then he got a couple stops. I think against Russell Westbrook towards the end of the first quarter. What do you like about his on ball defense? Yeah, his length. His length is big for us uh, to be able to guard and uh, you know switch and be able to guard not just uh, the perimeter but you know some bigs. And so uh, his basketball IQ is high, and uh, you saw that tonight. He, he uh, used all his fouls well. Um, he, he did great. A again, um, he's going to learn, um, you know, how not to foul and, and when to foul. Um, but I thought just being there, uh, a lob threat, playmaker, and then um, also on the defensive end being able to come up with some rebounds. And then also I thought uh, he had a really nice block shot um, after a turnover um, and just his hustle. So his spirit, his energy is in the right place, uh, especially being sick. Um, I thought he did a great job. Uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, it was our defense, uh, and that's and we had the pace in the game. So 
Uh, we said before this game we need to run, so that's what we did. Yeah, I didn't know that, but <laughs> yeah, I mean that's great. I don't know what to say, so that was great. Look, I saw a few times uh, after defense possession, you're looking over the bench and you're, you're, you're pointing at you're trying to make sure something's moved. Like one time in particular, you're, you're denying a guy and it ends up I think being a turnover. Uh, that's just my jokes with Sweeney. Uh, he's now offensive coach, so. Uh, has nothing to do with him on defense, but you know, I was just joking with him. Yeah, now he ranks me on offense, which is way better than defense, probably. Uh, you're scoring a little under three times as many points on catch and shoot jump shots this season. You mentioned that was an area, an area that you're focused on in the off season. How has that translated so far for you? Do you feel? Yeah, I think great. I mean, as you see, you know, I think people didn't believe me, but it's true. Uh, you know, uh, working on that and just it's a way easier shot than a step back. So that's what that's the beauty of it. Did you have to kind of train yourself to feel like you're in rhythm catch and shooting? Not really train, you know, just get get shots up, you know, just not doing always the step back, just catch and shoot, just getting the shots up and, you know, when my legs are fresh, I feel very good. How much of any do you guys talk about this being an in-season tournament game? You can't go down O2 after losing last week. I mean, yeah, as I said, you know, uh, you have not many games for this in-season tournament. Uh, so it's good we got to pull this one out. But uh, every game matters, you know. Obviously, we have a lot of games, but I think our star has been great, so every game matters. Which one? Normal? Oh, I, mean, I don't know. I think ours is not too colorful. So I think our ours looks good. So um, hopefully I can see it next time. Luca, what, what positives from tonight would you like to see carry over in this four game road trip? Uh, I would say defense in the pace we have. Uh, I think our defense was good today. Uh, just a little bit too much fouling. Uh, but the pace we had was great, so that two things. Luca, how does your, uh, your pre-game push-ups, I noticed you've been doing a lot of those lately. No, I just did two games out of eight, nine. Is that, nine. Is that your health and your conditioning, it looks like? I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes I just don't want to make the guys push-ups. I miss the half-court shot on purpose. <laughs> Dante Exum provided a spark, like, with his on-ball defense. And, you know, played alongside you and Kyrie in the three-guard lineup. What did you see from him? I mean, great. You know, he brings the energy. Uh, he knows how to play the basketball. Uh, I'm watching him in Europe the last couple of years, so he's been playing great. And, you know, I think he's he's going to help us a lot, you know, especially uh, when some players are out, you know, it's a long season. So he's going to help us. He's going to help us a lot, I think. Describe what went on uh, uh, Kyrie doing that 35 to 4 run you guys had there in the second bit of luck <laughs> that uh they weren't making shots um you know but outside of that i, I felt like we were uh, making them play in the half court a little bit more than they anticipated uh it's a great one-on-one -on -one individual team uh, i think they know that in that locker room so we wanted to make it an emphasis tonight that they had to play through each other um and they're a new group so uh, we just wanted to take advantage of some of their mistakes and transition and make the game easier on ourselves and, and get out in transition and uh, not necessarily call a bunch of plays, but just uh, be in the right positions out there offensively to take advantage of their defensive mistakes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I think that's the, um, the beautiful nature of this game and being able to respond the way we did tonight. Uh, that's what it's about is when it's not so much of a personal challenge, it's a team challenge, and we know we have to – individually be ready to play our roles but it's all a team game and collectively we just knew in our hearts we had to be better and uh, I think we proved that tonight just in the 48 minutes that we were allowed to play out there. Is that the best stop as a performance or maybe even like the most connected in terms of passing and just the way that you guys float out 
Uh, I mean, we made shots, so it, it looked a little better um, than other games. But I, I felt like for the majority of our, our games this season, we've been moving the ball well and trusting each other. And uh, a few of my shots went down today that were timely and uh, felt good to just have that rhythm stay the, the same throughout the rest of the game as we started in the first quarter uh, when we were down by three. And then after that, we went on a crazy run. So, yeah. Yeah, sport of basketball, man. Naked. Uh, I mean, and j just being realistic with where we are in the season, still early. Uh, you know, it's nothing to truly slap ourselves on the back about or celebrate right now. We just uh, got to be mature about it. We have a, a stretch coming up that's going to be uh, somewhat difficult, just mentally, and uh, we know that we have to. Uh, do the little things that we didn't do the other night against Toronto in order to make sure that this trip goes well. So uh, we don't want to harp on the past, but we know we have to still continue to get better. So I think that's the, the beauty of this is just knowing what we have in front of us. It's a challenge um, and just going with uh, what we know and that's playing hard and, and being able to follow the game plan um, and be mature about how we go about um, walking through and going through team concepts and uh, just talking through uh, those things that could pot potentially come up in the game. Yeah, no, I mean, you, we, you have no choice. I, to be honest with you, uh, this is probably my my uh, lack of awareness showing right now, but even that shoot around, I didn't even know it was an in-season game, in-season tournament game, just because I was so used to seeing the court be split in three. And... Um, uh, kind of the the excitement. I mean, it was just I didn't feel it this this rising, but coming into game time tonight, it did feel like an in season tournament game, and it meant something. And you can tell that the Clippers knew what was at stake. We knew what was at stake. Um, and it just felt good to get this win and put ourselves in better position to uh, go to Houston or when Houston comes here, and then also when we play in New Orleans. So I'm excited about those challenges, and uh, I think that's probably what the NBA wants is is just us to be. Uh, locked into what that tournament means for us personally and as a team, and then going out and executing. Uh, Lucas scoring just under three times as many catch and shoot points per game this season compared to last season. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that's an area he focused on uh, in the off season. What have you seen from him uh, in that area so far? Uh, I mean, he's just seamlessly playing that role, uh, just being able to catch and shoot, stop and transition. Uh, the pace is uh, amazing when we can uh, flatten the defense and then he's trailing the play. He doesn't have to move as fast and uh, he just comes in right in rhythm or I'm coming right in rhythm and uh, the ball finds the open shooter most most possessions. So we just want to continue that flow. And uh, when Luke is doing that in transition, I mean, we're, we're tough to beat. When he gets those threes with, you know, 16 on the shot clock, 17 on the shot clock, and it's a great possession because the defense is flattened and we've done everything uh, possible to be in the best positions. We've run to the corners. Our bigs are running to the rim. We're playing with that pace. And then Luca comes in and just does his step back or gets to um, open um, area on the court and then makes it easier for us. So it's good to see him, um, you know, Appreciate that that work that he put in the summer in order to translate to now. We've heard Jake Kidd and you guys talk since camp open, play fast, play fast, play fast. How are you guys going about making sure that happens? Like, what's the key to playing with the kind of pace you want? Uh, I mean, we, we pushed ourselves in training camp. I mean, we, we had a heck of a training camp, and uh, we have practice tomorrow. So, you know, uh, <laughs> huh? We love practice. I love practice. Come on now, man. I need it. I need it. That's what makes people great. Uh, you know, and seeing uh, our hard work translate into wins early in the season, it uh, goes to show you once you trust your head coach and your coaching staff and some of those days when you don't want to come in or the back-to-back -back days that we had practice and felt monotonous, it felt mundane, and we were tired mentally, but we knew that it was going to put us in position to where we are now where uh, pushing the pace on offense is not a hard ask. And uh, being able to uh, communicate that to everybody that's coming in the game is not hard either because they know what type of level we want to get to. And um, I feel like we've gotten off to a good start, but there's still more levels that we can reach to throughout the season. We'll see. You've been on teams where there was a, uh, a star type of player brought in midseason. Last year you were moved midseason. 
Mm-hmm. Oh man, uh, they are, they're, they're going through uh, what all of us humans go through is just adjustment periods to playing with other great players and playing with other great thinkers out there. And um, I mean, they're all students of the game. I think they appreciate the talent they do have, but it's going to take them uh, a few more games to figure out spacing, to figure out you know when is the time to push. Individually, they're incredible. Uh, I think we can all echo that sentiment, but when you're playing a team game, it's only one basketball out there, and uh, to find some offensive continuity takes time, and then to find that defensive identity roles, yes, yeah, it's, it's it could be frustrating. And um, you know, out there, I didn't I didn't feel the frustration from them, but I can tell that there was just a where do I go, uh, you know, type of emotion, and I'm sure we won't see that when we see them in LA as much, but. Right now, they're, they're just going through those those ups and downs in the public forum uh, where they are getting criticized for not winning games, even though they're as great as anyone in the league statistically and individually. So collectively, I, I know that they'll be better, but right now they're trying to find their way, which wish them well. But you know, I'm glad they didn't figure it out tonight against us. You know, we didn't want that. You know, it could have been one of those games that they go on a crazy streak because they figure something out. So looking forward to seeing them against them. I had some pretty good career averages against some teams, yeah, that we, you feel confident against and going in, you just know the head coach well, you know, the team that's going to be on the floor and, and uh, they've had pretty much the same offensive defensive flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, just getting my right elbow pointed. Uh, I talked to my dad a few days ago, and he just always loves to remind me to keep my right elbow pointed. That's something that um, Kobe used to tell me as well, uh, just as a reminder, and then just take my time, uh, get my feet underneath me. There were some times where I wasn't landing on balance, and it's it's little things that probably the – you know, the common fan wouldn't see, but those that appreciate hoop culture can and appreciate my game can see some of the nuances of, of where my rhythm was a little off. And sometimes it could be the guy hand just staying on the ball a little bit more or floating left or floating right. Being a great shooter in this league is all about self-confidence, all about the work that and the time that you put in. So I'm staying consistent there. Um, and that's where I, I want to feel good and just trusting that my teammates will continue to find me and I'll knock down the shots when my time is called. You guys have really great games to start this, this season. What do you think has given you the most confidence? Uh, my teammates, coaching staff, just everybody around me, just telling me to play my game and be who I am. And I mean, it's gotten me this far, so I'm going to keep going. You said what was going on. I mean, we was getting stops and scoring the ball a lot. I mean, and once you got Luca coming down, he he's in the rhythm. It's tough to stop him. And then Kai got in his rhythm. It's definitely tough to stop him too. So, I mean, especially when we got those two guys in the rhythm and we we playing defense how we was tonight. I feel like it's it's gonna always be a good game for us. Describe that play, that rebound dunk that you got there in transition. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just know Kai. I mean, I know he. He happy to get to the rim and get his layups off. So, I mean, I, I told him whenever he goes to the lane, I'm following up. And if it bounces off, I'm going to go get it. Because nine times out of ten, the ball bouncing in the head, I really don't see nobody that's out here that can jump with me. So, uh, I mean, it's it's just another putback dunk that I, that I got. But, I mean, that wasn't really, for me, that wasn't the defining moment of the game tonight. I mean, I feel like just, like you said, that, that run we went on, we just got a lot of stops and, I feel like that was a that was a that was a turning point in the game when we we put our foot down and got stops. You really the chemistry with Luca the other day. He said he's glad that you're on his team. How do you feel? <laughs> it's great because the feeling is mutual. I'm glad I'm on his team too because I ain't got to guard him. <laughs> he going off for 44. And so I I mean I'm 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 very glad I'm here. I'm I'm so happy that I'm here. I'm glad I got the teammates that I got, the coaching staff that I got. Just. Everybody installing confidence in everybody, and I mean, I feel like we 
we, we, we're going a long way with the chemistry and, and the trust that we have on the floor with each other. And I'm mean, just going to keep building with that. Kyrie said that Coach Kidd called you guys soft after that loss to the Raptors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, as a look up tonight, I mean, I feel like we came out here and, and, and handled business. I mean, yeah, we got beat on the glass in that Toronto game, and <clears throat> that's something that we we really are harping on. And I mean, like, I, like tonight, I had ten rebounds, and I, I just made sure I had to go out there and get whatever rebound that I could and do whatever I could do just to make sure that we win the, uh, the rebound the battle. Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, I don't know how how teams scout. So, I mean, if it ain't, and it ain't, I really don't care. I'm gonna keep playing. I keep playing the way I'm playing and doing what I gotta do to help my team win these games. And I'm just be who I am.